If you're new here, my name is Kim. I'm a third year, fifth grade teacher in West Michigan. And as I'm filming this, it is actually Tuesday today. It is October 6th, I believe. That sounds right. And I really don't have too much to say except for good morning. It is a crazy hectic week here in fifth grade. We have a math test that we're preparing for that we're taking on Thursday and Friday. And if your school uses math expressions, you know the math tests are meaty. They are long. They are difficult. But I know the kids will do a great job because we've been working really, really hard already this week to prepare for that test. And then that's what we're going to be doing today and tomorrow as well. So lots of test prep not the most fun but it is good just to go over and like review and see like what we know and what we still need to work on so that's been good i'm already getting a little toasty so i think i'm going to take my sweater off but yeah i just ran down and made some copies yesterday was a good day but i honestly didn't vlog because i kind of just forgot i got busy and then it just did not happen um yesterday right after school my best friend melissa and i decided to go to olive garden though because why not i saw my friend morgan who is the beach classroom here on youtube as well as on instagram she posted a little like boomerang of her at olive garden and i felt inspired so i texted melissa and i'm like hey what are you doing literally right now so we went to olive garden the closest Olive Garden is like half an hour away, maybe a little bit more than that, but it was so worth it. So now I have leftover Olive Garden today for lunch, which I'm super excited about. So it's already going to be a great day just because I'm going to get to see my kids and I'm going to get to eat leftover Olive Garden. It's really all I need. So I think I'm going to work on getting my morning started, getting my space all organized and ready for the students to come in. And then I will touch base with you guys either after school today or possibly at recess or at some point. I'll see you then. Okay, here we go. Hey there guys, now it is after school on Tuesday and I'm actually just about to take off and go grab some coffee because my sweet friend Anna from Mrs. Kids Creators here on Instagram, wait, we're not on Instagram, over on Instagram and on TikTok and all that stuff, she actually Venmoed me for a coffee which was so nice so I think I'm gonna go take advantage of that because I am so tired and yesterday I fell asleep on the couch and I was did that like all last week too but the problem with that is I take this really great nap on the couch I feel so good about it but then I can't sleep at night and so I end up just staying there in bed staring at the ceiling doing a whole lot of nothing and then I end up getting up and then I'm tired the next morning so it's like this vicious cycle so I need to get back into a better sleep pattern <laughs> so I think I might go grab some coffee so that way I don't feel like I have to take an afternoon nap so I think that's the plan I think that's what I'm gonna go do actually I might not even get coffee I might try the chai with um, the pumpkin like cold foam or whatever that I keep seeing all over Instagram I kind of want to try that and I feel like chai has some caffeine maybe so maybe I could do that. Otherwise, I did get a cold brew with sweet pumpkin foam the other day. Oh, it was so good, you guys. And I'm like not really a Starbucks person. I honestly don't go to Starbucks hardly at all. But I do go when I have like gift cards and stuff. And so anyways, I got that like two weeks ago, I think, or maybe last week. And that was super, super, super yummy. So I don't know. Should I go, you guys? I feel like I should go. With the pumpkin cold foam, please. Okay. Nope, that's gonna be it. Awesome, thank you. You're very welcome. Awesome, thank you so much. Nice you too. Hey there guys, now it is Thursday, October 8th, and this morning I got myself a little treat. I usually like never, ever, ever go to Starbucks, and this is my second time going this week, so I don't know who I am turning into, but this is a, oh, I just noticed, this has the white logo instead of the green. Is that because I got it at like a Starbucks inside somewhere? 
This was like the Starbucks in one of the grocery stores. But anyways, I got a chai, iced chai latte with pumpkin cold foam. I saw it on Instagram, knew I had to have it. So I got it on, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday maybe. And it was so good. I think, did I film it? I don't remember. It's all a blur. But anyways, so good that I had to go back and get another one this morning because I've just been thinking about it ever since I got it the other day. And it's so good. It's literally so good, I could cry. So if anybody can tell me how to make this at home, if you know, if you know how to make this at home, please hit me up because you'd save me a lot of money. So I just took off my cardigan, that's why I look slightly different, but today is going to be a crazy day because I am actually having a half day sub this morning because I need to finish up my running records. I don't know if you can see the box like back there, but I have quite a few still to do. And so anyways, I have a half day sub this morning, so I'm able to do those. I'm gonna be in my back room. The sub is gonna be in my main room. And I wanted to make sure, because like we don't really have time for me to just give like filler activities like I needed this up to like keep it moving so I had to write out like really explicit instructions because like obviously they haven't been in the room so they don't know like what we're doing so anyways my sub plans took me a lot longer than normal but I finished those this morning already printed them they're good to go but I do need to print a couple other things this morning for the kids to work on and yeah I kind of just want to like clean up my room a little bit before anybody gets here because I don't know having like a grown-up come into the room always makes me realize that like we're not as neat as sometimes I think we are you know really it's just me it's my stuff that's messy it's not the kids stuff they're doing just fine and we're taking a math test today so before I copied the test these are the tests right here I just wrote a little note in the corner hello there we go. I just wrote a little note to all my students that says, I believe in you, love Mrs. Halls, so that way they can have that in front of them during the test and just kind of hype them up a little bit. So, uh, I don't know, you guys. It is what it is, but I'm just going to drink my iced chai and think about that instead. So that is all from me for this morning, I think, unless I think of anything else to say to you guys. But I do need to prep for my sub, so that's what's up right now. Hey there guys, now it is Sunday, October 11, one week until my birthday, which is super fun. I think this is the first time I've had my birthday on the weekend since I started teaching, I'm pretty sure, like positive actually. I just edited all of this vlog up until this point. The past couple weeks I've been editing my vlog here at school because I find that it's just easier for me to stay focused and it's like super quiet here on the weekend. This building is so big that even if there are people here, I don't usually see them if we're here on the weekends unless I like go find them. So anyways, it's like a nice, quiet space for me to work. I don't have my cat jumping up on my lap or my husband chatting to me or me thinking about how I need to like put away dishes or do laundry or whatever. So it's been a good spot for me to just focus and enjoy editing a little bit more. So I just edited all of the vlog up until this point and realized I didn't really get a ton of footage from this week. So I apologize for that. It honestly was such a busy week with running records going on and trying to finish those up. And then we had our first math unit assessment and those unit assessments are hard. <laughs> so they take a lot of time so we had that and just like a bajillion things I mean life as a teacher is always busy but it just seemed like this week was exceptionally busy so that was that I don't think I talked about it yet in this vlog but I do have five students who were temporarily placed in my classroom and they are actually moving to the classroom next door on Monday because one of the virtual teachers is coming back in person which I'm so excited about because she is actually my like mentor she's only a couple years older than me <laughs> but she's super super sweet and she's taught fifth grade for a couple more years than I have so she's my mentor this year and I'm so excited to actually be able to see her and sit down with her and maybe even eat lunch together I'm just super excited she's really really nice and I know that those five kids even though I'm sad they're leaving me I know they're in good hands because that teacher is phenomenal so they will be in great hands and I know they're gonna love that teacher so even though I'm sad I'm happy that they're going to such a good teacher so we actually moved their desks out on Friday I had the students pick a friend and then they they walk the desks next door and put them down so that way we didn't have to worry about it this weekend worry about it this weekend I don't know why I said it like that so I have a lot more room in my classroom again which is going to be super nice because we kind of always feel like we're on top of each other my classroom is not very big at all I always get comments of people saying my classroom is huge and I promise you it's not and I don't have a ton of extra stuff in here I really just have like my stage my back small group table and then my classroom library and that's like pretty much it other than desks so anyways I'm going to move around the desk today I made a new seating chart this weekend and I'm going to work on moving the desk around. I also 
went ahead and took away the laundry baskets because we just don't use them enough and they're just like collecting clutter at this point like kids just put like random stuff in there and so I'm just gonna say no more and then I ordered some little magnetic hooks off of Amazon that I'm going to use on the side of their desks to hold their clipboards so I'm hoping that goes well but I'm going to kind of just like bring you guys with me on a little time lapse as I redo the room so let's do that Okay, so I got all the desks arranged how they need to be arranged, and now I'm working on putting together these little hooks. I bought a pack of these at the beginning of the year off of Amazon, and I really liked them, so I ordered some more. And they come in two separate pieces, so there's like the magnet piece, and then there's the hook, and you just screw it in. You can't really see what I'm doing, but that's okay. And now I'm putting them on the sides of the desks, and that's what's gonna hold up their clipboard. So I just tried it with one desk, and it worked really well, so let me show you. So. <laughs> <laughs> like walking with my tripod it's fine so this is the desk that I already did it on and I think it's gonna work really really well okay so I just finished putting the little magnets and adding the clipboards to the sides of the desks and I can already tell I like this so much better because it cleared up like a ton of space I used to have these baskets in front of each of the tables and they were fine for like the beginning of the school year when we were going outside every single day but now we have not been going outside every single day so we just don't really need them all the time anymore so I have those stacked over there and then hold on I don't want to show you the kids names because they're on the back of the chairs um but taking those desks out and then moving desks around added a ton of room in here so hooray for that and then also what I did because some of the kids in their baskets they had their like mouse and their headphones for their computers ignore my paper that fell on the ground but I added these little like shoebox containers from Walmart for the kids who had like a mouse or a set of headphones or whatever so now those kids have them safely in their mailboxes and I put their recorders in there as well so I think it's just going to be a lot more like nice and neat in here and yeah it looks so much better a couple of other things I've been working on is really amping up my emergency sub plan. So now I actually have emergency sub plans for 10 days in case I need to quarantine at any point. So I didn't make copies for all 10 days because I might not need them and like hopefully I won't ever need them. But I did make all of the copies for the first day because that's what one of the other teachers on my team recommended. So that way like if you find out in the morning that you failed the screener or something and you can't come to school, you have at least copies for that first day and then there's masters for every other day so that way if you need to have somebody else from the team make copies for you they can do that so my schedule stays the same pretty much every day so that helps a lot in making sub plans because I basically just wrote out my sub plans as if like I were the one teaching that day like what I would normally do and just said like use the teachers manuals and like use the planning time which is in the morning to look those over and all that fun stuff Another thing that I made this weekend that I think is going to be helpful are these today's lesson little bookmarks and I'm going to put these in all of my teacher's manuals so that way I can put it on the next lesson of the day. So if anything were to happen in the morning and I can't come in, I have these already in there and the substitute or guest teacher would know like which lesson I'm on. So I'm hoping this helps. I don't know. I mean, I'm really hoping I just don't ever have to not come to school but I know that that's also not like super realistic also my sub plans for those 10 days my emergency ones I just put them in one of my like big milk crate type things like those black milk crates you can get at like Walmart and then I made these little tabs and I'm gonna go ahead and um well these are for mailboxes but these are the tabs that I'm gonna put on the different file folders so I'm gonna laminate these a second and then cut them out and then I just have some other random stuff also we're starting a place value this week with decimals so I tried to make these little decimal card 
things for us to do place value. So I don't know if I'm gonna get around to laminating and cutting these out today, but I do have those. And then I have a little label for the milk crate. So I don't really wanna stay here too much longer though, because I've already been here for quite a while, just like moving around desks and stuff. And I don't like to spend like my whole weekend here. <laughs> so anyways, I think I'm going to finish up the last couple things I need to finish up that I feel like I need to do before I leave. And then I think I'm going to ski daddle. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanna show you guys though before I go. So let me look around and see if there's anything I wanna show you. Okay, so I thought I'd show you this a second just to prove to you guys that my anchor charts are not always visually appealing, like at all. So this week, last minute, I decided we needed to take some time to talk about motivation and like why we should try our best. And so the kids gave me ideas and I just like wrote them up on there. So that's what the kids came up with and we just had a good conversation about why we should try our best. This group of kids is seriously amazing. I know I keep saying that, but I'm like obsessed with them. They're so, so, so much fun. They're just so sweet. And I just have an awesome group. I feel very, very blessed this year with this group of kids. They're super sweet, super awesome. They make coming to work every day super fun. So I love that. But something that we're struggling with is just our motivation and being intrinsically motivated versus being extrinsically motivated by like some sort of reward we think we're gonna get or something like that. So I'm trying to do better about not giving like rewards as much or not like bribing the kids basically so not saying like if you do this then we'll do this like I can definitely be guilty of doing that sometimes and so I'm trying to get better about it and I'm trying to make sure that they're getting better about it too and just like holding them accountable for like if I teach something and then I say turn and talk like they have to participate in that and they have to be active thinkers and active listeners and already in the past like week and a half that I've been focusing on this it has already improved a lot but I know that there's room for growth so we just made that little poster together it was just like a quick conversation and then I had them do a little activity like a little quick write in their ELA notebook so yes if you have any other tips though for getting kids to be like intrinsically motivated it's such a hard thing to do because like how do you teach intrinsic motivation you know but anyways that's just one thing that we did one quick activity and it's not cute but it works so I'll take it <laughs> and then the last story that I want to leave you with today in this video so a little thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. We have been using rewards as our MTSS as almost an entire group. It's like most of my class does this and it really focuses on decoding multisyllabic words and like breaking them into word parts or syllables and then using that strategy to be able to read longer words. So anyways, it's really great for the most part. I do enjoy it. The kids do well in it and it's a lot of routine so the kids know how to do it. They can find success in it, blah, blah, blah. But I do have a little bone to pick with the authors because I had a really funny moment. I think it was like Thursday maybe where we were working on this and you know, I'm pointing to the word and I say first word part and they tell me what it is and I go second word part. They tell me what it is and I say the entire word is and then they say the whole word. Well, one of the words was astronaut. So I just want you to like think in your brain for a second. What is the first syllable in astronaut? Now imagine doing that with a group full of fifth graders, like a whole class of fifth graders. So luckily I caught it before I had them like yell it out because I looked at the word and then one of my students who's like always with it, she kind of like smirked a little bit and I was like, oh no. So I turned and looked and I was like, and they all started like bursting out laughing. They all got the joke. And so anyways, I was like, okay, we're not gonna break this one into syllables. How about we just say the whole word? And they're like, astronaut. But it was hilarious. And I don't know why they would have done that in this book, but it was a very funny teaching moment. The kids thought it was like hilarious. Luckily we did not shout it out as a class. We did not yell out the first syllable in astronaut. So that is all for this vlog. I know it's probably a little bit shorter than normal, but I hope that you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and leave me a comment below so we can chat back and forth. I always love hearing from you guys and hearing how your school year is going, what cool things you're doing in your classroom, either virtual or in person that's working really well. I would love to hear it in a comment below. So let me know. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.